how to fix the issue where no Wi-Fi networks are found on your Windows 11 computer. So if you go and click on your Wi-Fi symbol at the bottom and either you're not seeing any Wi-Fi networks or your Wi-Fi is just not showing altogether, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this. Now the very first thing we need to do is open up the start menu. You can then search for services and click on this window here. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and you should see a service called WLAN Auto Config go and double click on this. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic and then press apply and OK. You can then double click on this again and make sure the service status is running by clicking the start button. You can then press apply and OK. We're then going to right click on the service and go and click on restart. Now if it's still not working then open up the start menu, search for control panel and click on this window here. In the top right hand side click on the drop down arrow next to view by and select large icons. Now select network and sharing center, click on change adapter settings in the left hand side and you should be able to find your Wi-Fi adapter from this list. Now go and right click on it, click on properties and then select configure. Now click on advanced, click on 2.4 gigahertz and change the value to auto. You also need to do the same for the 5 gigahertz as well and also the 6 gigahertz as well. Make sure these are set to auto. You then need to press band selection and change the value to all band. You can then click on roaming aggressiveness and set this to medium to high. Go and press OK. You can then come back down to your Wi-Fi networks and you can check to see if they're now showing. If it's still not working, there's one final solution. Open up the start menu and click on settings. In the left hand side, select network and internet. Click on advanced network settings and then select network reset. Click on the reset now button and then go and press yes Yes to reset your network settings. Once you've done this you will need to restart your computer and once your computer has restarted that should have solved the Wi-Fi issue.